This is a quick look at two different ways to use Pirate to crack WPA pre-shared key. I'm using two backtrack machines in a client server configuration and a MySQL database. If you need help setting any of this up, have a look at my written tutorial. First, this is the config file for the client. The server has a base config, but it is also pointing at the MySQL database. Next, I'm going to set up the wireless access point. We'll uh, keep the SSID visible for now. Password is capital P, at sign, dollar sign, 5, lowercase w, 0, lowercase r, capital D. The first method of using Pirate is to build a database of pre-computed PMKs. This can be done without capturing the WPA handshake as long as you know the SSID. Then you can use the database afterwards to attack a handshake much more quickly. So in order to do this, first I'm going to build a word list that has the passphrase in it. You can download this script from the tutorial. You can see that the database already has some passwords in it. We'll import the word list. And then batch process it. Once this SSID is finished, I'm going to add a couple more. This is just to show you can start and stop the batch processing at any time. The pirate will just pick up where it left off. Now that we have a database with some PMKs in it, we can capture a handshake. We'll use arrow dump to see the access points that are within range. You can only do this if you're not already connected to an access point. See our lab network access point. We now use AeroDump to monitor the target access point and it will grab a handshake as soon as a client authenticates. This works about 90% of the time anyway. To speed the process up, we use AirPlay to force clients to deauthenticate. Now that we have a capture file, we can attack it with the database.